Hello! A couple of days ago, I posted a snippet of a stream where I went over how to position the chat in OBS in a fun way, and people seem to like learning some features and functions, so I figured I'll show you another thing that is very useful that I use quite a bit. First of all, I'm using OBS 30.0.2, it should be the latest version for me, and I'm gonna rearrange some of my docs. If you cannot drag and drop these around, you can go up here and make sure that your lock docs is unticked. Now I can drag these around and mix and match to my heart's content. Okay, now I have things the way I want them. Keep in mind that you can right click and choose a vertical layout if you have a lot of audio sources that you want to put somewhere else. I'm going to assume that you're already fairly familiar with the program, so I'm not going to explain the basic features. But let's just start with our scene. I'm going to rename this Game Play. This will be our gaming scene. I'm going to set up another scene that I'm just going to name a bunch of underscores. And I'm not going to use this for anything. This is just to separate scenes and assets. So I'm going to call this one Webcam. In the gameplay scene, if I were to right click and add a camera, I'm going to use an image for tutorial purposes. And you can position it where you want your camera to be. Now, I can apply things directly to my camera. For example, I can add a color correction filter. If I now add the camera back into our just chatting scene, it'll have all of the same effects because I've applied it to the camera that I've then referenced here as well. There are two ways you can get around this. If instead of applying our filters to the face cam directly, we put the camera into a group. And let's rename this group Effects. Now, anything else I add into this group will also receive the same effects. And because the effects are applied to the group, they are no longer affecting our just chatting camera. But if you want to be able to hide your camera or have global hotkeys for events that triggers no matter what scene you are in, such as hiding the camera, for example, you cannot really do that with a group because you don't have independent control over hiding the group with a hotkey. So this would work the same for setting it up with hotkeys or with a stream deck. But instead of adding your camera here, you add your camera here. In your dedicated webcam scene, the contents of this scene will be hotkeyable no matter what scene you're in. In this asset scene, I'm going to add some effects to the camera, such as Show transition, slide, I'll set it to slide to the right, and a hide transition slide set to left. I'm also going to set the show transition to a thousand milliseconds, one second, and the hide transition to two thousand, two seconds. Now when I hide the camera, it slides off screen, and when I show the camera, it slides on screen. And because it's in a dedicated scene, I can add this scene into anything else that I want. Any other scene that I have, I can add my face cam scene, position it the way I want it to, and add it to another scene. And no matter what I do, I can always trigger the hotkey back in the webcam scene. If I set these hotkeys to my numpad for a second, because I don't have a stream deck plugged into this computer, I can now hit my hotkey and hide and show my camera no matter where I am, because it's inside of the webcam scene and it works with whatever scene you add it into. And anything you keep adding into this scene will show up in all of your scenes that are referencing the same scene, that are using the same camera scene. And if you apply filters to your webcam scene, you are essentially applying it to the whole set. But if you apply effects separately within the scene, then it'll only apply to that layer. So that's it. That's how you can set up a global scene that you can access from any other scene in OBS using hotkeys or an Elgato Stream Deck or however you choose to control your OBS setup. I hope this was somewhat informative and somewhat useful to someone. I know that I didn't go over anything in terms of settings and stuff. If you do want me to go over that and show you more in depth how to set it up so that you can use OBS in a more efficient way, let me know and I'll make another one of these. But for now, that's it. That's all you need to know. Bye.